just here for information. If you don't like my video, I'm sorry. You'll hear birds in the background and cars and a banging. That's my coyote dog that has to be with me. And so on. So just thanks for your patience on that. Hope you enjoy what I present. No lack of exposed tang. I like that. Maybe you can see the recurve in the blade along here. Good hardwood handle. Exposed tang on one side, not on the other. Very nice. Fourteen, maybe fourteen and a half inch. Well, let me show you. It doesn't matter. Works great. Balance point somewhere in there. The increased mass, giving it sort of a tomahawk-like feel, which of course I like a lot. By my postal scale, bolos average about thirteen point nine ounces. Unmodified, I lose another ounce if you. Customize the wood handle with some sanding, which I highly encourage. 14 inch Tramontina machete. It's a great combination between knife and machete, and I know uh, many people on the net have talked phrases. Totally agree. Really great starter machete for younger kids. Um, sandable handle to personalize, but uh, this machete in particular has a very ergonomic handle in the beginning. Very ergonomic uh, handle. It's not one that I would want on, la on a larger machete for reasons I'll cover later, but just a sweet economical tool. The 14 inch Tramontina machete weighs an average of about 11.2 ounces on my postal scale. On the Tramontina machetes that I've tested, there is no lanyard hole. I think that's a white man's invention. I've never lost a machete in my hand. Not to say it won't happen, but you can always add some sort of a guard made out of wine or a lanyard yourself. It's a drillable handle. The Bolo machete, this tomahawk, or this machete rather, is probably the ultimate compliment to my proper long hawks for me. Put a saw, small chisel, and Swiss Army knife or multiplier, and I'm a very happy camper. This machete and uh, the cold steel 12-inch Bowie machetes, which of course are no longer in production for the time being, were my favorite go-tos to uh, couple with my proper long hawks. Really good in a, a fight in some styles of combatives with tomahawks and also uh, complementary to the hawk in field utility. Most American machete manufacturers you'll see don't have the sweep in the spine. It causes a trailing mass effect which helps tracking and guiding. Something you can't really observe even on camera but it essentially gives you more chop for your money. So, it's a shame. American Tomahawk and the, or machete makers take notice, make us sweat. Good machete has sweep on its spine, in my opinion. That's one reason I like the Panga so much. Uh, the fact that you can dig with them, uh, striking. You can also dig with these at the price of a few dollars. It's definitely a nice tool to team up with your Tomahawk. I'm a baton through resinous wood with relatively little effort where um, great knives, which I'm not knocking, but that are thicker, name brands, can require a Herculean effort to pound through wood. Something that I have normally no field use for, but never say never. It's nice to know what I am capable of. Here's my personal vision sheath and 
full size machete. You can see the retention straps, for my blanket that you've seen in my other videos. Construction is a hybrid of the Bolo and the 14 inch machete with the Bolo style handle, which is, I've, as I've noted before, is better than an 18 inch like wood handle Tramontina. See, the handle is like their 14 inch Bolo, vice their 14 inch machete. Also has the nice recurve that I've mentioned that I like. Just a great machete. Work on it a little bit to personalize it, which I haven't yet. And it's just fantastic. Trim up the blade, sweeten up the back. You're in Fat City. See you out there.